Hi there, my name is Samuel Saiti and today I will be talking to you about something very important to all of us. We use it every day to connect with others, to share information and even for entertainment purposes. I'm talking about the internet. It has become so integral to all of our lives in such a short period of time, it's unbelievable. But how many of us really know how it works? This is what drove me to choose the internet as the topic for my Genius Hour project. Throughout this project, I've learned lots about the internet. The internet is essentially a network of networks. Each of these individual networks being comprised of even more networks and so on and so forth. Now, all of these networks are then connected by wires and satellites, forming what we call the internet. As you can see, it comes from interconnected networks. Internet. Get it? Anyways. Now that's a very simple explanation for the internet, so don't take it by face value. Now, how exactly would communication on the internet work? Before we get into that, let's go over what exactly a network is. A network is just a group of interconnected computers that can communicate with each other. Now in this example, as you can see, we have a home network. The router is what connects all of these computers together so that they may communicate to each other. And as you can see, Computer 1 is sending a message to Printer 1. Now that you understand that, you can see that the internet is just a giant network of these networks. And these are all connected to each other by wires and satellites. But let's get back to our original question. How does communication over the internet work? I mean, how does one computer know where to send data for the other computer? This is done through the Internet Address Protocol, or IP for short. Each computer receives a public IP address, it's 32 bits long, that it uses to identify itself to other computers so that they know where to send data to. By 32 bits, I mean 4 numbers which are 8 bits. Now I don't want to get into this too much as it gets somewhat confusing as we are used to our base 10 system. So let's just move on. So now you think you know communication over the internet works. Well, no. There's still two more things to cover before you understand exactly how communication over the internet works. The first is packets. Now, the internet is a packet switch network. That means that all data being sent on the internet is first broken down into individual packets. Now, as you can see in this animation, we have one computer which breaks down the message hi into two packets to send to the other computer. One being H, the other being I. Each individual packet contains the IP address of the source computer and the IP address of the destination computer. Of course, there's the data in there and some other details which we will cover later. We have one last concept to cover before you understand how communication over the internet works. First, let me give you an analogy. Think of each computer as an apartment building. Each apartment building has its own address which you can send mail to. The same works for a computer. Each computer has its own IP address which you can also send data to. Apartment buildings also use apartment numbers. These are used to further break down the mail coming in for the designated apartment. The same way this also works for computers. But instead of apartment numbers, we have ports. And instead of apartments, we have applications. Supports so are used to further break down the network traffic for different applications. And in this example, it will all make sense. In this example, we have Skype listening on port 6701. Now our H packet has finally arrived at the designated computer. And the computer has separated it based on the port it was designated for. And it's finally sent to the Skype application. Each packet also carries the designated port and the source port of the computer that it was sent from. Studying the internet was awesome. It taught me a lot about how networks work and the, how the internet works. But it also taught me a lot about geography. Mainly because I can apply many of the concepts I learned about the internet to geography. The internet is just like one giant, giant, giant country. Now this country is divided up into all these different towns and cities which are kind of like the networks. And in these networks we have 
the apartments, which are kind of like the computers. And we also have intersections, which are kind of like the routers. And in between all of this, we have different roads connecting everything, which are like the wires, or the different roads used to get everywhere. The climate could be the different technologies used, the different types of wires used, the different hardware used, because this is stuff that doesn't really change over a long period of time, right? But it can still change. However, the weather would be more like the network congestion, or say something got hacked and it, it's down for a while, that would be the weather. All these concepts really help me understand geography much more. And honestly, uh, the internet, this was an awesome experience. And right before I conclude my TED talk, I would like to show you a Java program I made that sends data over a network and the Tracer program in both Windows and Mac. Hey guys, I just want to show you my uh, Java program. It's very simple. I'm going to show you the server first. So, the f this line here, this part's just the important part. This is all we gotta care about. Just ignore the rest of it. The first line here says, Listen for connections on this computer at the port 4155. Simple. Uh, okay, you can just safely ignore this part. It is important, but I don't, you, we don't need to understand this yet. And then here, all it says is, Once there's a client connected, Whenever they send something, print it out to the screen, so like the terminal. Then we go to the client here. All it says here on the first line is connect to the server running on this computer at the port 4155. She so says local host, that's like this computer. Uh, again, we can ignore all of this stuff here. Just gotta care about this. This just says... Whenever the user types anything in and presses enter, send that over to the server and then as we know, the server, whenever it gets anything from the client, it will print it. I'll show you how these work right now. I'm going to run the server first, then the client. As you can see, they're both empty, they got nothing on them. Now if I type in, hello, enter. As you can see, the server also printed hello. If I type in whatever I want from now on, it's always just going to print it. It's very simple, uh, I just want to show you guys that, I thought that was a nice little thing, and I also want to show you guys the Traceroute program in both Mac and Windows. If you type in Traceroute, the IP of whatever, uh, wherever you want to send a packet, this is actually the League of Legends server, <laughs> the NA League of Legends server, press an enter, as you can see there are 8 network hops, so the first one is, this is my home network. Then we have two routers that belong to Bell and they're in Malton. And we have two more networks that belong to actually, yeah, Bell again, but this time they're in Toronto. And down here we have, uh, all right guys, I just want to show you the Tracer program now. You should open a terminal in Mac or command line in Windows. All I gotta do is type in trace route. In the IP you wanna send a packet to and see the route that it took. I did it to the NA League of Legends server right here. And here, as you can see, all of these different networks that the and routers really the ones the, the num when it's numbered, it means it was a network hop. So it's a different network. But however when it's uh just as you can see this one, there's two Toronto ones. This just means they're in the same network, but they're just different routers. So yeah, I thought that was a nice program. There's also the ping in both, again, uh, Windows and Mac. You can ping whatever IP you want. I'll ping the League of Legends server again. As you can see, I pinged it. And yeah, I just thought those were some uh, cool command line utilities. I just want to show you guys those too. You can see the IP address. Here it says it got 64 bytes from the League of Legends server. It's the IP address. Alright, thank you guys. This project has probably been the best project I have ever done. I have learned so much from this project. I have never learned anything more than any other project before. This project was just awesome. It was so much fun and it was so interesting and I learned so much. This is the best project I have ever done by far. The internet is just so 
complex yet it fits together so perfectly in my eyes. It, it's it's honestly beautiful. The way everything comes together and forms this 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 giant network that connects the entire world. I mean we depend on it every single day for so many different things. We don't realize how complex it really is or how it actually works. And just learning about this was absolutely awesome. And I, and I really, I really enjoyed it. Well, that concludes my TED Talk. Thank you for listening.